going to convert my old TV into a brand new computer with 4 GB RAM, Ethernet, Wi-Fi and etc etc. This video is going to be a quite lengthy one. I can say only one thing. If you watch the video fully, you will be learning a lot of things in this video. The time is pretty good. It's the right time for you to subscribe to my channel if you didn't before. And press the bell icon here to it. You will be notified whenever we are uploading a video. <laughs> Thanks for subscribing and now oh, let's see how we can build this one. Now we can see what are the components required for this project. First of all we need a Raspberry Pi 4. We can even use Raspberry Pi 3 or B+. But I prefer Raspberry Pi 4 since it has 4GB RAM and extra processing power. It also has a set of digital I.O. pins which we can use it for any projects. This is the female USB pin for powering the module and these two are for HDMI output. We can even use two monitors at a time but not in this video. It has an inbuilt audio jack for speakers and microphones plus a Ethernet socket and 4 USB pins. It doesn't have any inbuilt storage, so we have to use an SD card for the hard drive. Above 8 GB, we can use any SD card. Just take an SD card and we can gently insert it. Our, SD, our hard drive is ready. Now it's time to make the body for the PC and to make it cool. We have to add lights etc etc. Just take a piece of wood, place the Raspberry Pi 4 over it. The Raspberry Pi has an inbuilt 4 sockets for screwing or any other kind of purposes. Now just mark it and screw down. Whenever you are using a screwdriver, keep in mind safety first or otherwise you can hurt yourself. I think there is something missing out to make it even cool. We have to paint it. Yeah, right. Before opening the paint bottle, make sure you won't make it a mess. If you are not sure, just hand over this job to the expert who is around you. Just kidding. Try it yourself. Give it a try, man. And these are the mount mounting screws av available for Raspberry Pi. You can buy this for up to 10 rupees each. Position this. The any two corners of the Raspberry Pi and make it a tight. We need two of these and it's now ready. Then we need uh, two screws for placing this Raspberry Pi tight on this wooden piece. Make sure you don't damage the Raspberry Pi. Even after my warning, you roughly handled it. Congratulations man, you are the winner. You successfully wasted 4000 rupees of your pocket money. Just kidding, I know you won't handle this Raspberry Pi like that. Next this is the upper mount for just fixing a exhaust fan up there. I have added some blue LEDs to make it even beautiful. Just we can check with 12 volt power supply. It's uh, not up to my expectations but it's okay. Just remove the screws and paste this and insert the mount there and again screw it. After screwing this tightly, our 12 volt exhaust fan comes into attack to protect this Raspberry Pi from heat. Yes, heat is the biggest enemy for this Raspberry Pi or even any other kind of electronic components. Just take two screws for fixing this fan over this mount. Once the net and bolt are tightly packed, now it's time to give the circuit connection. Join the LED and the exhaust fan in a parallel manner. Yes, I have found some easier solution. Maybe I'm a genius. No, just kidding. Now let's get back into the topic. Now let's test it with the 12 volt power supply. 
and it's working fine. Now it's time to boot the SD card with the OS. Just with the SD card inside the SD card reader, insert it into the computer. Grab your PC and type Raspberry Pi Imager. I have given a link in the description for downloading this. First click choose storage. From there you can see the USB card reader and choose OS. Click the first one Raspberry Pi OS. Now it's time to write. Click the write and it will ask for permission. Click yes. This process may take 10 to 15 minutes. Till then go for a walk, have a drink, watch any other videos in my channel. Then after the 15 minutes or 20 minutes completed, give a check. It will be giving a message that boot has completed. Then remove the SD card reader and from the SD card reader, grab out the SD card and insert. Oh my god, I have made a very big mistake. Now I have to start from the beginning and repeat all the process and do some changes. With this small change, I can e easily grab out the SD card whenever I don't need or I want to insert a new one. Just see. With this design, it is easy for me to insert the SD card and pull it out whenever required. Now I have completed all the process again and this is for power supply. We have to give 5 volt 3 amp, less than 5 volt danger, greater than 5 volt danger. These are two HDMI port and we have to use only one in this video and that is nothing but the first one which is near to the power supply socket. Now the real problem arises, that's nothing but my old TV doesn't have any HDMI input so I have to choose some other way for inserting this RCA cables but there is no way it's fitting inside what can I do just keep it aside and take a HDMI cable which is HDMI micro to HDMI insert the HDMI micro pin to the Raspberry Pi we have plenty of time so don't be hurry in inserting it and end up with damaging the port once you do it, you will be left with only one port. Now how we are going to join both of this? The real trouble? No, it's not the, that much big trouble. We have something for this. HDMI to AV. We, on one side, we can give HDMI input. On other side, we can take There is no compulsion of connecting the white wires, it's just uh, unwanted or I think so. Now the other side of RCA cable should be connected with our old TV. There you can see two pins, two circuits for inserting it. I said no oh, hurry, just be cool man. Yeah, we have successfully now let's test which whether working or not. We have to choose 5 volt 3 amp power supply for Raspberry Pi and here it is 5 volt DC 3 amps. Lesser than 3 amps may lead to a malfunctioning of Raspberry Pi and I advise you to use only 3 amp power supply or about 2.5 amp. Secondary, you have to use a 12 volt power supply for powering this exhaust fan and our blue colored light, which is pretty awesome as much I think. If not, comment it down. Connect these two wires to the positive and negative parallel connection which we given earlier. G boom ba. It's now connected. My magic skills have been developed very good in recent times. Now let's power both the adapters and see how it's working. 
one thing i found while powering this that there is a leakage of current in the raspberry pi then later i came to know this leakage of current is not from the raspberry pi it is coming from the rca cables from the tv yeah my old tv is giving me electric shock now i have to find something to overcome this and i would like to show how you can test this keep the tester simply on the raspberry pi metal case there is a light which means there is a leakage of current to overcome this you have to first turn off the main supply or unplug the wire if you breach my warning have a great shock gifted by your raspberry pi which you which you bought for 4000 now just take a lengthy wire any copper wire and make sure it is in contact with the raspberry pi or any other kind of wires is coming out from this and the other just paste it with your any tape cellular tape or electric tape so that it won't come out if you know nothing about your thing just watch some youtube videos about it or just call a electrician nearby he will take over now join the other end of the wire to any other metal surface near to it or if a, any window with a grill you can connect it with it in my case i have connected it to a metal pipe now let's test whether the leakage is still there or these are absorbed by the metal pipe now let's again test but now this time there is no leakage of charges which means my metal pipe has done its job pretty good when your tv shows this kind of result take a deep breath because all our efforts does not ended up with a mess we have to click yes but how for this purpose there comes a usb mouse and a keyboard grab out the dongle from this box and insert it into the usb socket there are four sockets available insert in the one which you like take this and insert it gently okay now let's test whether our mouse is working or not it's working just click next 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 i can see one thing the text are not clearly visible we have to increase the font size and you can see there are black borders extra black borders we have to rectify the two errors now click next 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 wait for a minute wait for a minute click next click next click next 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 close now right click and choose desktop preferences at last there you can see system from there type 22 and bold italic i have chosen the font now one of our problem solved now the next problem comes the black border for this press ctrl plus alt plus tab and ctrl plus shift plus 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 for zooming this tab just type the command as follows sudo so root for changing us as root then type nano slash boot slash config dot txt to open configuration file here you can do two changes one is just remove the slash before disable over scan it will disable the overall scan and zoom it but in our case we don't want this we have to over scan left and top just remove the slash over it and 16 reduce the 16 to 12 this will remove the black border in the left side we want to remove the black border in the top also to do this uncomment the overscan underscore top is equal to 16 read this statement for better understanding the third line just turn this 16 into 12 once it's completed press ctrl plus s for saving and ctrl x for 
exiting now type reboot for rebooting the pc once it rebooted just see whether it's okay if not just change the value of left or top according after removing this error i have customized everything including wallpaper wires and now it look like pretty cool gadget if you like this content just hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon near to it you will be notified whenever we are uploading a video bye, bye. bye.